Continuing our coverage now as we track the tropics. As Britta mentioned, there's still a lot of uncertainty in the forecast for tropical storms Marco and Laura. And of course, our number one goal here is to make sure you stay safe. That's why it's so critical to heed the warnings and prepare now. Uh, Vincent Crivelli is joining us live from outside the George R. Brown this morning with what folks need. Vincent. Owen, good morning. Officials say you need to be prepared for these storms, have a hurricane plan, have a hurricane kit, and stay informed. Kind of everywhere, so I'm just like prepping, that's all, just to be secure. With two storms threatening the Gulf Coast this week, Did you get the second one? many are hoping for the best, but preparing for the worst. Two fans, and we have the batteries, and then the cooler, just in case the power goes out, since they're saying there's going to be strong wind. Definitely been getting in product every day. Darren Johnson, operations manager at Academy Sports and Outdoors, says his store has kept storm essential stocked. You see this stuff just starting to creep back onto the shelves, and then for another mad dash, and then if we do get some sort of surge in, in the uh, virus, then what? You know, we're back to square one or beyond. From preparation to protection from flooding, the Harris County Flood Control District has been watching area bayou levels, which as of Sunday night were good. They're making sure the bayous are cleaned out, uh, making those assessments. We're also in close coordination with our partners at the federal level, like the Army Corps of Engineers. In a tweet, Harris County Judge Lean Hidalgo says in part, let's work together to prepare. Please take advantage of this time to make a kit, review your plans, and stay informed. And over the weekend, Houston Mayor Sylvester Turner said the GRB could be used as a shelter. And right now, the city is working to identify additional places that fit the parameters for more shelters. Reporting live downtown, Vincent Crivelli, KPRC, Channel 2 News. Vincent, thank you.